go and observe some sacred games. I am the Sample Man. How is everybody doing? Let's run there, Leon. Let's go to the Royal Box. Hell yes. I don't want to be in a box. I'm a mime. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Don't mind me and my stupid jokes. And you brought me a hot babe. You did well. That was an excellent ceremonial match. I believe these sacred games will go splendid. Indeed, I hope so. You I really do. Stand there. Sit down, the matches are about to start. Oh good. I like oh hello oh, I like looking at the legs in the background. <laughs> Miyakis left the party and Limsley left the party. Really? Miyakis, come on, baby! What the hell? Alright, so let's go sit in our seats, eh? Let us go over here. Yes. Yes. Is that the fighter representing Gazelle? Yes, that's right, Kildrick. Strange. I didn't think he'd be at first. Weird. Come in. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Whoa. Nice going. Oh, low blow! Oh my God! Oh. 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 And the winner is Kildrick, representing Gisele Godwin. All oh, my future children felt that one too. Jeez, oh. what's the matter there, fat stuff? And why are you stomping yeah, in your seat? Is strong, Princess, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just scary watching all these sword matches, that's all. Aww. The weapons used in the sacred games don't have blades, you know. Nobody's going to get hurt too badly. I know. But I have this cold feeling in the pit of my tummy for some reason. A cold feeling, you say? Hmm. Uh, well, you could go to your room and rest it out. But you're being a little wimpy, so you'll have to tough it out. But yeah. Here? Yeah. The prince is right, Leon. I know, ain't I? I'm always right. Hell yeah! Those men down there are fighting for you, dear. You can't just simply walk away. Right. But mother, I never asked them to fight for me. Need I remind you you're going to be queen someday? And you have certain responsibilities, whether you like them or not. Right. For instance, if a war were to break out, over a hundred thousand soldiers would be called to fight and possibly die in your name. Ah. If you can't even watch the sacred games, how will you be able to handle something like that? Oh, damn. Putting it to her. Stand now, mother. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Aww. That's all right, Leon. I knew you would understand. Aw, poor little Limmy. Poor little Limmy. She's she doesn't like these fights. My Round god. One, match eight. Let's play arena representing Lord De Beers, the gladiator. Jake. Also brought to you by Coors Light. Oh, De Beers. <laughs> opponent, the Kanakan swordsman, Balku. Oh no. This looks like a match between a boy and a man. Is the little guy gonna be all right? <gasps> what if that hammer hits him? He'll be <laughs> fine. I'm more worried about Jake. Well, oh, yeah. well, so you can tell too, Leo? What? What are you talking about? Is that Bell, whatever his name is, is he some kind of famous swordsman? No, he isn't. We've never heard of him before today, but just the same. Hmm. A Queen's Knight can always assess the skills of an opponent, even if he's never seen him before. Right. Just watch. This match ought to be a good one. Oh, okay. All right, so Farron thinks this is going to be awesome. You missed. You missed again. Oh! Oh, my goodness. He went down in two swipes. The winner is Uh-oh. And Vladimir Lenin does not approve, and Gazelle is staring intently. That was incredible. It's matchups like those that make the sacred game.
something interesting. I hate to give a barbaric swordsman from some backward land any credit, but he is good with a blade. <laughs> oh, man. A barbaric swordsman, you say? When Farid came to this country, he was far more barbaric than that. <laughs> oh, now they're flirting in the stands, really? No, I, I didn't mean... I'm terribly sorry. Don't worry, I'm a thick-skinned barbarian, so I can take it. <laughs> hmm, seems very interesting, this Belfoot fellow. Interesting you too. Uh-oh. How about it? What do you say? Would you like to meet him? Do I want to meet him? I'd love to meet this person! Hell yes! I like meeting new people. So you're curious about him too, huh? Indeed. I need you to find out just what kind of fellow he is with you. But your majesty, are you sure? It'd look like the royal family was favoring a specific participant. Oh, come on. Belkub is probably staying at some place in town, so you can just pretend to run into him by accident. It's settled then. Leon, I want you to go with him. Yes, sir. Silides, George, I want you two to go too. All right. Sure. I'm quite interested in the man myself. Oh! Tell me about it, Leo, okay? Oh my, princess? Good girl, Lynn. You really held out. It's true. You did wonderfully. Ah. <sighs> I guess I'm tougher than I look. After all, you are my mother and father, you know. <laughs> Aw, poor little Limmy. Aw, such this a nice girl. Our game for today. Tomorrow we start with round one, match nine. Damn. Only eight matches in a day? God damn. That really would be... Those are... Especially after the way that other match ended. Hmm. I wonder which inn Belkut is staying at. I really like him. Seriously, you're going after one of the competitors, Silides? What is this? Bet we don't even have to check around in the inns. We'll probably run into him in the neighborhood. Oh, really? Huh? What makes you say that, George? You'll see. But well, we should hurry. Well, hurry? I don't feel like hurrying. Uh, okay, let's go up this way. We have stuff to see, me thinks. Uh, oh, nope, I did the wrong area. Do -do -do, I need to go this way. Do -do 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 -do. And then there we go. Damn it! Let go! Let go of me! Oh god, who's talking? Yeah, you that were wasn't there. I said let go. Pipe down. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Cheating at the holy sacred games. They won't go easy on you, you know. Uh oh. You better have a good excuse if you want to live. What? You're going to put him to death for cheating? Wow. Holy crap. Just think of. Damn it, how'd they catch me? Damn it! Oh man. I think that was the winner of match six? Oh jeez. Wonder what happened. He slipped his opponent uh, his opponent in anesthetic. Oh, thank you, Frankenstein. Who are you? You're that doctor I met before, right? Oh man. Yes. That's right, the name's Maraud. Oh, hey, Maraud Frankenstein! Yeah, you maraud around the countryside, eh? Looking for corpses. And then aesthetic, eh? Now that you mention it, I thought that match ended a bit too quickly. Yes, that made me suspicious, too. So I examined the losing competitor. I examined all his organs. <laughs> Just as I feared, he had all the symptoms of having been given an anesthetic. It was rather mild, probably in the hopes that it, uh, it'd go undetected, but you can't fool a doctor. Oh, thanks there, Dr. Robot. So the doctors here ju don't just treat injuries? Oh no, there's no end to the number of people who try to win by using poison or drugs. Drugs and poison? So... They try to slip some cyanide into their drink or try to get them high on cocaine? Ugh. The doctors that work here 
have to be able to detect that kind of cheating. I see. Oh, oh that's not good. Wow, cheating on the very first day, huh? Wow, yeah, that's pretty sad. It's the sacred games after all. Many people are willing to do anything, no matter how unethical to win. Oh, unethical things to win? Yeah, it's just like Aroid. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez. True, during the last sacred games, there were quite a few brutes that would have gone to any lengths. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good. Drugs would have been on the subtle side for them. And Farron came out of that? Now I'm even more worried about Belkut. We should probably get going then. Oh, you were in a hurry. I'm sorry I held you up. Oh, oh my god. I should be going as well. I have a few questions to ask that fellow now. Okay. Bye there, Dr. Frankenstein. Oh man, he's going to he's going to go check up on that guy. Well, we have stuff to do here in the arena. Oh, and I went the wrong way. We need to follow that doctor, actually. Because we want to go to the infirmary here in the arena. Because there's a few new characters that we can meet here. And who will be able to be recruitable later on during the game. Alright, so they're very important to go meet. And they're right here in the infirmary. You recruit them a little bit lo later in the game. And they're standing right there. You can't even win with the juice pumping through your veins? Oh man, that so this is the person that got drugged, eh? You're a disgrace to the Linworm Mercenary Brigade. Go hang yourself. If you need a rope, I've got one. What? No, don't hang yourself, dude. <laughs> now that's just cruel. You're laughing about cruelty? It didn't seem too concerned during the fight, but as soon as I got hurt, you rushed to my side. What? Wait a minute. Deep down, I know you love me. Uh, okay? Sure. But that character right there that just talked, he's one of the best in the game, and you do recruit him. I'll keep the rope. I'd rather hang you myself. Uh, what? Don't say that. And you recruit this guy, too. It would be an honor to be put to death by you, Sir Mueller. Oh, damn. Then I shall have it arranged immediately. Mueller? Hey, I was just joking. I wasn't. <laughs> oh my god. See that guy over there? He's watching us. You'd get arrested for murder. Uh, yeah, I didn't see nothing. Huh. Oh man, he doesn't seem like he cares. Okay, so we'll talk to you. Phew! Thank goodness, sometimes Mueller can get pretty intense. Now this character right here reminds me of Link from Legend of Zelda, and you'll see why when I do character bios. You think we're putting on a show here? You should re remove yourself from our general vicinity. Uh, okay, I'm getting out of here, he's threatening bodily harm. <laughs> Alright, but those were the two characters I wanted us to meet. Uh, Mueller and the second person that was drugged in the sixth match right there. We will find out more about them later on in the game. Alright, but first things first, we need to go to the streets of Stormfist. Alright. And there's one more scene, and then we'll call it an episode there, guys. And it's right here. With another character that we'll be able to recruit soon. What do you mean, no? There's no good reason. Come on, try to come up with one. Oh, man. What's going on here? No good reason? Are you attempting to mock me, young woman? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. No, but it sounds like you're trying to mock me. Come on, why are you taunting me like this? Uh, taunting? Oh no. I don't want to deal with people's problems. What's all this fuss about? Oh jeez. Your Highness, Lady Silence, this fuss is, well, this girl. Uh, oh, she's hitting on you? You don't like it? Your Highness, wowie wowie wowie! 
I know, whenever I look in the mirror, I say, Wowie, 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 too! <laughs> oh, man, I look in my face, I'm like, oh, wowie, wowie, wowie! Perfect! I'm tired of dealing with this pencil pusher! Oh, no, oh, jeez! Pencil pusher? Well, I'll have you know, I was first in my... Shut it, pencil pusher! Oh, man. Your Highness, the name's Nakia, and I'm a martial artist. Super duper special moves are my er, specialty. Oh man, do you want to show me your super duper special moves? Does it involve pushing me to the ground and rot? <laughs> oh no, I didn't say that. I came to Felina to compete in the sacred games, but this pencil pusher won't let me fight. Uh, why would you want to compete in the sacred games? Huh? Sorry to break it to you, Nakia, but Mr. Pencil Pusher is technically right. As a woman, you can't compete. Oh man, uh-oh. Oh jeez. Oh, Why not? This is a queendom, isn't it? Aren't women in charge here? Why can't I show off my special moves? Women are always in charge everywhere, Nakia. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Do you even know what sacred games are? Oh jeez. Oh, Lord. What they are? If you're trying to put one past me, lady, you're opening up the wrong can of worms! Oh, Lord. They're an ancient major martial arts competition that's being held in Faletta for the first time in 16 years. The winner gets fame, fortune, honor, glory. You know, the whole dealy. Dealy? Really? All true, but there's this teeny tiny minor detail you forgot. God, the winner marries the princess. Oh, jeez. Marries the b princess? Yes. The sacred games are held to select a husband to marry into the royal family. Uh-oh. Now there's a lesbian going after <laughs> Lemmy. And as the husband of the future queen, the winner is promised the position of commander of the queen's knights. So yes, the winner gets fame, fortune, honor, glory, the whole dealy, as you put it. Oh man, even with... What? Huh? What? What? Why didn't anyone tell me this? Oh jeez. So what's your plan? Still sound like something you want to do? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, we'll put her to the test, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry. Er, uh, skedaddle, ta-ta. Oh, man. And she's running away. I'm almost disappointed she isn't a man. Watching that marriage would definitely keep things interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Huh. I can't imagine a more incompetent commander of the Queen's Knights. I can. Lindsay Lohan. Or Amanda Bynes. Hmm. Oh, on second thought. She'd definitely be better than Urum. <laughs> nice going there, George. You were... You put into words what everyone was thinking. Alright, so let's go to the old part of town. And we'll call it an episode there, guys. Alright, next episode... We will be finding Mr. Belcoot, who is here in town. See you guys then.